All right, everyone, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be breaking down and talking about the newest update to Trade Locker, and that is their panels tab here on the left hand side. I'm going to be talking about each one of these as well as more updates to come with Trade Locker. I think this is just a great all round platform. I've been mentioning it over and over and over again. I've been trading Forex for almost three years now. Prior to using Trade Locker, I was using MT4. Just like everybody else, MT4, when I first got into Forex trading, it was probably the hardest platform that I've ever used because my background is basically trading the stock market. So I was very familiar with brokers like E-Trade, uh, TD Ameritrade, Thinkorswim, uh, then DOS Trader, which all those platforms were 10 times easier to learn and understand and were more user friendly than MT4. So when I came over to Forex trading, I was using MT4. It was extremely difficult and confusing for me. And I felt like even till the end of its days, I still didn't know everything about it. <coughs> Excuse me. So this trade locker platform is just extremely user friendly. And just the updates coming out are, are just absolutely, absolutely incredible. So they recently added these three features here and they're actually hotkeys as well. So hotkeys, what I mean by hotkeys is if you're on your computer, you could just press a key on your keyboard to basically activate them and deactivate them. So that's actually a really cool feature. I like, I actually really, really like that they added that. So that is really cool. We're going to be talking about each one of these um, and basically how to basically use them and what each one does. But really quick, you know, guys, if you go to the Trade Locker website, uh, you'll see all the updates that are coming out. So you can see that Q2, there's still going to be a lot of things coming out. Trailing stop loss, uh, close all positions, uh, default stop loss and risk values, uh, price alerts. One of the updates I'd actually like to see sooner <clears throat> that's actually in Q3 is the copy trading um, and then the default stop loss and take profit. Uh, you know, these these obviously should, you know, would like to see these come out much sooner, but I understand that great things take time, but they will come out. So those that don't know what copy trading is, uh, that's basically means that anybody can link their account to a master traders account, right? So such as myself. So every day I come, I make trades, I buy, I sell, close my positions, make profit. Anybody can then link their account to mine. Uh, they'll have the option to do that, right? Based on certain scenarios, they can link their account to mine. So anytime I place a trade, it will take the same entry trade on their account. Now, granted, if I'm trading with a $30,000 account and somebody doesn't have $30,000, then they're not going to be able to take the full position size that I'm taking. That's basically what copy trading is. I'll talk about that more in another YouTube video. But if that is something you guys are ever interested in being part of in the future, click the very first link below this YouTube video is that you're going to want to sign up using the same exact broker as me. That's really only the way you're going to be able to link your account to mine is if you're using the same exact broker underneath my link. So if you had signed up with them in the future, you know, say two, three years ago, you're not going to be able to link your account to mine because you're not underneath my link. So anyways, let's talk about these three cool features here in the panels tab. The very first one is going to be market panel. So if, by clicking this or hitting the hot, hot key M, right, you can basically get rid of this panel. So if I'm hitting M on my keyboard there, that panel is basically disappearing. Pretty cool feature. What is another one, right? Is this order panel, right? So people for the longest time were basically saying that when you make this full screen, right? They didn't like this order panel here, okay? Excuse me, they didn't like this order panel right here. It's kind of like just, they didn't want to see it. They kind of wanted it gone. So now they got this feature where you hit O or you just click on it and then boom, it's gone. So you can see what's basically activated. By me clicking on all three of these, you can see that they change the color, right? So if I click on all three of them again, that means they're basically all gone, okay? Now, this last one is obviously your trades panel. You can basically make this bigger, make this smaller, cool but i really just have i really just leave it hidden down there i don't need to be like extremely extremely big uh so again three cool panels uh that they recently added as mentioned with more updates coming out you're going to solely see new ones get added 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 and added and added again a lot of good updates really like it a lot i'm glad i'm really glad they added that uh because they just launched the desktop version and then probably not too much not too much like week week and a half later they came out with now this uh 
order panel because people were people were, they didn't really like you know when they had a full screen they didn't really like seeing this order panel just you know they had to basically have it there in the corner they just didn't really want to see it there so now again you hit o on your keyboard you just click on it and then boom it, there it is it just keeps coming and going so Again, there's it's gonna to get to the point where if you're paying monthly for trade, uh, trading view, right? So a lot of people use Trading View, the charting platform. You're not gonna need that anymore. So literally, you're not gonna to have to pay any, you know, fee for charting or anything like that. This is gonna be a one-stop shop. You'll be able to do everything on Trade Locker charting platform. Use the charting, make your trades on the fly. Cell phone, tablet, computer, anywhere, 24/7, or even the browser. I like to use a browser; it's just really easy for me because I I have multiple tabs open while I'm trading, managing, and watching my trades. But that's it for this YouTube video. Hopefully, it helps and educates you guys. Remember, click the very first link below this YouTube video if you want to sign up for the future copy trading. Give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and remember, guys, nobody goes broke taking profits. Cheers.